Well, B550 is here. And last expected, everyone is praising it and saying it's the savior of the universe, but should you buy into the hype or should you wait for later? Is now really the best time to buy a B550 motherboard? Well, that is a interesting question, which I'll try to go over in this video for you because I'm just such a nice guy. Basically, if you don't know, B550's brand new chipset that AMD provides for their more budget motherboards. So if you want to buy a brand new Ryzen based machine, but you find the B450 motherboards kind of lacking and old, and you find a new X570 motherboard a bit too expensive, then B550 is perfect for you. And actually, we already made two videos talking about why you should go B550. So I highly recommend you check them out up in the iCards. So in, in that video, I went over the type of people that could benefit from B550. But the question now is, should you buy it now? or later. Well, what makes that question kind of difficult to answer is the fact that we barely know anything about Ryzen 4000 apart from that it's coming later this year. We don't fully know how it is a global pandemic is going to affect stuff, but from everyone we can gather, it looks like it's coming later this year. And the great thing about B550 is you're guaranteed to have some of the best features and best support for the new series of Ryzen 4000 CPUs when they launch. But is it really worth going with it right now? Well, that kind of depends what kind of situation you're in. Because if you're just buying into the Ryzen ecosystem, and let's say you go with a nice decent Ryzen 3000 CPU and you're another board for it, then B550 is an obvious choice. Unless you need the feature of X570 or we are planning on doing any kind of overclocking, then we'll go for X570. And the best thing is that you're pretty much guaranteed to have a great experience with upcoming Ryzen 4000 CPUs if you decide to swap out. However, if you're the kind of person to be able to buy a CPU now and then buy another CPU in a few months time, then maybe you don't even need B550 and you can go for a safe X570 choice. Because that leads to the more concerning thing. And as that, we exactly don't know how big of a leap Ryzen 4000 will be. It's pretty much guaranteed that the more budget CPUs will run on B550 completely fine. However, already running some higher end Ryzen 3000 CPUs, like the 3950X or the 3900X on just a B550 motherboard can be a bit of a stretch. And that's where always people go for X570. So what is it going to be like with the 4th gen Ryzen? Well, B550 has been essentially made to go alongside a release, even though it's a few months early, just to get some final Ryzen 3000 sales, I would assume. However, we don't know exactly how much of an improvement and because of that, how difficult to drive the new CPUs will be. And because of that, it may be a bit of a risk if you're planning on going with B550 and then plan to upgrade with something else down the line. However, I would only worry about that if you plan on going with something really high end in the Ryzen 4000 scene, say like a Ryzen 7 or above. However, unless you have the money, if you already have a Ryzen 3000 CPU, I don't think upgrading so fast is a great choice. However, alternatively, if you have, say, a older CPU and you want to upgrade to a brand new motherboard so you have an overall better foundation for your upgraded 4th gen CPU. So for example if you have a 2nd gen or 1st gen Ryzen and you're planning on upgrading to 4th gen then getting a B550 motherboard now and then running for your older CPU might be a way forward because at least temporarily you at least have some extra benefits from B550 but then you'll go from a small improvement to your system to a great improvement to your system including some big performance gains when Ryzen 4000 comes out so that's something else you can do. So that dilemma really depends on your current situation and what you're planning to do when Ryzen 4000 drops. If you're planning on going high-end Ryzen 4000 then go already with X570. If you're planning on going budget Ryzen 4000 go with B550. However if you do say you already have a Ryzen based system and you want to say upgrade to B550 then unless you really need the features I would recommend just staying on whatever motherboard you have and then buying it down the line when it will be cheaper and we'll probably also see a ton of bundles that include a brand new 4th gen Ryzen CPU and a B550 motherboard. Plus what makes it even more complicated is the X570 because well its prices are dropping rather nicely. So definitely before you go B550 check out if maybe you could go with X570 instead if it fits into your budget. I, I run an X570 motherboard myself and X570 is your leap and I definitely don't regret it. And so if that convinced you to go X570 then I'll definitely have an Amazon link down to my motherboard down in the description below if you want to buy it because if you buy it through our link then we get part of the money and you don't pay anything extra so it's a win-win. Plus when we have all the pricing and all the releases for B550 motherboards I'll have a complete guide 
on what motherboards to buy at what budget in the B550 world. So definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. Also, going back to the description down there is also my Discord if you want to talk to me or others about this or whatever else for you. Have any questions or anything else, ask away there. Also down there is my Patreon if you want to help support the channel monetarily as in one dollar a month is a long way in helping make way better videos and also videos on way more interesting topics. And I guess it's really it, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.